Hey everyone, Carl with Fluid Root Laddering this week, uh, bringing you the team dubbed the Nut Team. Um, I like to refer to it as Cartana, Nihiligo, Urshuku, and Thunderous. People sometimes refer to it as just the Nihiligo, uh, Urshuku, Thunderous team, and Cartana kind of just takes a back seat. Either way, um, the, the goal of this is to be as hyper offensive as possible with our Power Herb, Nihiligo being able to just get a plus one special attack boost with Meteor Beam, uh, and then you can Dynamax it and just Meteor be uh, Max Rock Ball and Max uh, Ooze everything, or you can leave it as a small Pokemon and Dynamax something else on your team. Um, you will mainly Dynamax Thunderous, Kartana, uh, and I believe like there's situations where you want to Max Rotom and Urshifu, uh, but they don't have they don't come up that often. Uh, mainly Thunderous, Kartana are the Dynamax targets for this team. Clefairy's here as friend guard plus follow me support. Uh, Kartana and Nihiligo are both very, very frail in their uh, respective uh, special defense for Kartana and defense for Nihiligo. And uh, Clefairy kind of helps supplement their, their weaknesses of just being frail. Uh, Clefairy also uh, helps us keep Urshifu healthy, helps us keep Thunderous healthy. Uh, friend Guard is also just really busted. Um, so that's kind of the idea behind Clefairy. Uh, Rotom, he just hits everything in the format right now super effectively. It hits Kartana, it hits like Metagross, it hits Tapu Fini. It, it's got real good coverage and just hits a lot of the format that it really wants to just, it's not, you know, otherwise we're not worried about too much with the rest of the team. Um, Nasty Plot and Protect are our other two moves. This is a more offensive set. Uh, you could run a more special set with like a more uh, support set with Will-O-Wisp, but uh, the rental code that came with this uh, is Nasty Plot, which is okay. I, I'm i not the biggest fan of fully offensive Rodom Heat, specifically because your fire type attack is overheat and it lowers your special attack by two, so you have to Nasty Plot to actually deal, make sure you deal damage after an overheat. Uh, Urshifu, Poison Jab, Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Choice Band. I believe we're banded so we can guarantee Oko's on Tiglastrier um, and Metagross. So that's the team. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and try to get right into these battles here because I'm very excited to try this team out on ladder. Uh, this team feels very, very flexible and has a lot of flowcharty, if this, do this situations. Getting into game one here, it looks like our opponent is doing Trick Room Iron Ball stuff maybe with their Articuno. Um, that's the thing that they can do. Uh, Regirock kind of poses a problem because we don't really have a good way of dealing with Regirock outside of Assault, uh, Kartana, and Urshifu. Blaziken's also kind of worrisome because it just hits Kartana. Um, Expecting them to bring Tapu Fini, Regilecki, um, and then they could bring anything from Regirock to Blaziken. Uh, the leads that they could have, though, are like numerous. The big one that stands out is Comfe Regirock, because they can just Giga Drain proc the weakness policy. Um, hmm. I think. Knowing what they're doing, I think I lead. The fairy Urshifu, bring Kartana in the back, and Rodon Heat. Leave Thunderous and Nihilego at home. Neither of them really like seeing Reggie Rock on the other side. Let's see what our opponent's lead is. If I called this correctly, Comfy Reggie Rock, Tap Fini Reggie Rock. Okay. So the goal, I think, is for them to just set up curses and calm minds while my team does its thing. Um, could definitely just follow me close combat this Regirock 
and hit it like a truck. That's a special defense boost? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this, uh, definitely... We just, I think we just hit follow me. And do I want to take out Feeny or do I want to take out Regirock? Regirock's probably going big. Are we Gigantamax? We are just Dynamax, okay. Hmm. What do I have in the back? I have Kartana that can Dynamax, and I have Rodong Heat in that can Dynamax after a nasty plot. I think we just close combat because it's going to do more damage than a Max Knuckle would. And we're going to follow me to redirect any Moon Blasts away from Urshifu. I. I don't know what our opponent's doing, but this Regirock doesn't survive this. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Something missed. I don't know what. I think Urshifu dodged that. <laughs> Yeah, Urshifu dodged that, okay. I have to learn all the names because all the names are in Japanese. Um, okay. I think we click Protect and we swap out... If they go for Muddy Water again, Kartana is good. You could also just set up Trick Room. I think I want to swap into Kartana. I, I'm expecting to just muddy water again because they're expecting another redirect. So we're going to swap into Kartana, save Urshifu for later. There's the Dynamax on probably the Articuno. Could be a Dynamax on the Tab of Fini, but I'm expecting Articuno. Yep. Big Articuno. I wonder if this is like a bulky weakness policy set. Max air streamed into the Kartana slot. There, there is nothing we could really do there. It's like you need to save Urshifu for later, so this is fine. Moonblast into that slot too. They were, yeah, they're real scared of Urshifu. So we get that. Do I just helping hand and hope I outspeed? I don't think I outspeed. There's no point in swapping here, so I think we'll just help in hand and see if we outspeed still. Tap if any protects, yep, that's fine. Like, I think Articuno still outspeeds Kartana. Yeah. Which is fine. Like, we couldn't protect there. They're just getting airstreams off. They're just gonna keep getting faster. But now we can go into Rodom. Hit the follow me button and click this nasty plot. Go to plus two, then go big with it. And Articuno's Gigantamax, uh, Dynamax will end. There goes Clefairy, which is fine. And we're hoping for a Muddy Water Miss. They could also go for Calm Mind here. Muddy Water's gonna miss, yep. Nasty Plot goes off. Out comes Banded Urshifu, which they don't know is Banded. 
but if they knew the team, then it should be they should know that it's banded. Uh, we're going to lock ourselves into Wicked Blow and Max Lightning. Actually, I wonder if this thing takes a Sucker Punch because I expect. We need to protect. Feeny is likely to protect here just because it wants to reduce the amount of damage that Rotom is going to deal at plus two. So if we sucker punch double into the uh, Articuno here, we can easily then blow up Tapu Feeny after that. There goes Articuno. I'm expecting Moonblast into Urshifu. Oh no, just with the Muddy Water. Okay. No accuracy drops. Yeah. Okay. Tapu Fini goes down here probably. Because that's a plus two Rodom. Yeah. And then we flipped it from a 3v2 into a 2v1. Pretty clean. Uh, we're locked into Sucker Punch, which is fine. Uh, Really didn't expect Sucker Punch to pick up the KO on the Articuno there. Um, let's see here. What do they have left? There was... Blaziken? Okay. So Blaziken in the back here. Uh, likely going to protect. I have to Sucker Punch anyway. That's what we're stuck on. And then... Max Lightning is the strongest move I have. Like we're locked on Sucker Punch, so there's nothing we can do there. Um, but if he guard, if he, if he protects, then he doesn't do anything. So, like Urshifu, he doesn't know Urshifu's banned for the most part. Opponent is really thinking on what they want to do here. This could be banded Blaziken. That's a, that's a thing. Um, not a very good thing. Looks like they didn't protect, so Sucker Punch goes off. Blaziken's gonna close combat into our Urshifu, take it out. That is fine. This Max Lightning should be enough to take out Blaziken now, for sure. At minus one, yeah. We're at plus two there at minus one. This Max Lightning is stabbed, it should take it out, no problem. Zap. Bye bye, Blaziken. Okay. So, went from a very commanding position at the start to having to swap to keep Urshifu alive. Uh, I feel like that was still the right call even after that. But, we'll see. I'm trying to think. If I had swapped into Rotom, Rotom probably takes that Airstream better and the Moonblast better. But then we don't have Rodom to max and clean everything up afterwards. So yeah, I feel like swapping Kartana out was the correct choice there. Comment down below if you think that was right or not. Um, it feels like it was the right choice to sack off Kartana there and keep our Rotom heat to deal with uh, Feeny and Articuno. On to the next game. Okay, JP, what do we got? I see Weakness Policy Metagross with Tornadus. I see Intimidate Cycle with Landorus and Incineroar, and I see a Regilecki Tapu Fini to round out with support. That's probably screens Regilecki. You don't think they really need more damage that they have. Knowing what I know about this team and what they're doing most likely, uh, Thunderous here is really good, especially if they want to lead one of their Intimidators. So what we could do is Thunderous and Kartana and bring Urshifu in the back to deal with uh, Metagross and then Nihilego is actually like decent here being able to hit Tapu Fini with Sledge Bomb. But I also think bringing Rotom Heat would just be a better better choice there. Rotom Heat does more. It's also immune to Landorus. Yeah. We'll bring the Rotom Heat in the back. Or do I want to lead Rotom Heat up front? Hmm. 
Damn, we didn't get it locked. Oh well. Oh well. Couldn't get him locked in time. That the other lead I wanted to do was an Ihalego. It was actually an Ihalego Thunderous, just because Thunderous does thunderous things when they try to intimidate, and Ihalego is fairly fast. Incineroar Tornadus. Okay. There's Nihilego and Thunderous. So Thunderous is going to get a Defiant boost here and go to plus one. They'll most likely fake out Tailwind. So I think we just click Protect. And... Honestly... Max Knuckle into Instant here doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Go to plus two. We're already at plus one, so I feel like this is a boon instead of a hindrance. Just to go big, go to Big Thunderous here and just Max Knuckle into it. It also plays around them swapping Landorus in on the Tornadus slot into a Max Lightning. So, yep, I'm gonna protect. They're gonna tailwind with Tornadus and probably try to fake out. Okay, yeah, I was like, you try to fake out, and there's the tailwind, yep. And we're just gonna max knuckle into this Incineroar. We're at plus one, life orb, might take it out. Oh, definitely takes it out, okay. <laughs> definitely takes it out. Neat. Um. We're at plus two now. They're going to be faster on both counts. There's Metagross. Okay. Do I want to save Nihilego here? I think I do. And then Max Lightning. What's Tornadus do anymore? It triggers the policy, but I can't stop that anyway. Max Lightning is my strongest move against Metagross. So we'll just see how much this does. Swap Nihilego out from a from a Max Quake coming into it. Rotom's gonna eat it up and love it. Like the other option is Max Hailstorm into Thunderous, which we do not tank at all. It's definitely iffy here. I don't know if we can get this one, win this one or not. We'll see what they actually targeted. Tornadoes went for Icy Wind. Interesting. So that'll put us at plus four. I don't know. Max Steel Spike into the Rodom slot. Okay. We resist that. That's great. Um, that honestly was their safest move to go into. I'm at plus four though. I don't know if this Metagross lives this or not. It does. Under half though. Dang, we took a good chunk of the damage. Put a good chunk on him. Uh, definitely just gonna overheat and protect. Try to stall out their tailwind here. They've got one more turn after this one. Joke's on you, I wasn't nasty plotting anyway. <laughs> the turn they should have done, they should have did this last turn. Bye bye Metagross. Took out your Dynamax. 
I don't know what you expected me not to do there. Like, you should have done that. You should have done this last turn. I, I understand the taunt thing was weird. The icy wind was kind of weird too. Like, thunderous is at plus four now and minus one speed. And there's Lando, shiny Landers. Neat. I'm at plus five now. Okay. I think a rock slide takes me out, though. I'm thinking about fly. We're gonna swap into Clefairy here. Clefairy's gonna give me friend guard to maybe tank this rock slide. Icy wind. Dang. That's gonna hurt. Come on, miss the rock slide. I need this rock slide to miss. Miss. Dang, it hit both. Probably it was in Thunderous here. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Tailwind's done. I need to see how fast Nihilego is. 170. I wonder if that is... It's not Scarf Lando, it would have went ahead of the Tornadoes. So... Yep, it's just gonna Icy Wind again. I wonder if this makes us slower than Landers. Probably. We'd be at minus one. Landers is gonna Earthquake us, yep. Nihilego definitely doesn't take this. We need to double into this uh, Landorus for sure. Need rock slides to miss or something. Nope, we're gonna go down a rock slide here. Yep. Yeah. Was definitely in a close, but good position. Just not having a good answer to Landorus and not focusing down the Tornadus when we needed to. I was always worried of them just swapping Tornadus out into Landorus itself, and that was always the worry. Um, but yeah, definitely could have won that one. On to the next one. Okay, let's see here. Uh, who wants to play the mirror? Because that's what we're doing. Um, seeing all of these makes me think, like, what do we do? Hmm. I don't want to do this. And then... 
Thunderous in the back for Urshifu. And Rotom Heat for Katana. Yeah, I think this is what we do. Kartana Clefairy is good against almost any of the Lees that they bring out. The only one it's not good against is Thunderous, but then we just swap into Rotom. Yeah, let's go with that. I love playing the Mirror. It's always fun to figure out, like, try to figure out what four do they bring, what four do we bring, and trying to uh, counter their Mirror. With, counter the mirror with our with our team. Let's see what they lead here. Clefairy and Urshifu. Okay. Kartana and Clefairy. So I'm gonna moon blast the heck out of this uh, Urshifu. And Steel Spike to give myself a defense boost. There's no point in going for Follow Me. Like, it really doesn't mean anything if we do. I know Kartana should be faster than this Urshifu. Uh, so that means we get to hit this. Uh, Clefairy pretty hard. Yep, there's the follow me. Expected that. Going to steel spike into his Clefairy. Get a defense boost. Take out his Clefairy. Oh, almost take out the Clefairy. Okay, it's all about taking out. But friend guard plus defense boost means we don't go down to close combat here, I don't think. Oh, poison jab. Okay. Yeah, we definitely take that. So now they're locked in the Poison Jab. And our Moon Blast takes out their Clefairy. Bop. Okay. So now that we know that they're locked into Poison Jab, this Urshifu just does nothing to our Kartana at the moment. So I just keep targeting down the Pokemon next to Urshifu. Yeah. If this is Rodom Heat, then we follow me. If it's not Rodom Heat, then we just blow it up. There's their Kartana. So... I think Max Airstream still does more. Hmm... I think Max Airstream and Helping Hand to get as much damage into this Kartana as possible. There goes the Urshifu, so I, I've called this pretty much clear. I understand what's going on. They're going to go big Kartana as well. Joke's on them. I'm hoping to I get to outspeed them here. Uh, we're at plus one defense with our friend guard up. I don't think Kartana can take out my Kartana. We're going to get a helping hand off and get a plus one in speed to hit the Nihilego sitting next to us. After this uh, airstream. Puts it at about 66%, 70% somewhere in there. We won the speed tie too, which was really good. Max Knuckle. They're going to go plus one. Does less damage. Oh yeah, because we're plus one defense. That's fine. So now... The damage is pretty much neutral. Now... I can max Knuckle... Do I max Knuckle or max Steel Spike? Do I go plus one defense or do I go plus one attack? Um, I'm plus one speed. Well, I'd go plus two attack. So I can do, I can do bulk up or I can do 
plus two. Because so I think that maxed up, I'll still take out Nihilego. I think we do that. And we click follow me to go to take this hit from Kartana. We just redirect into Clefairy. Steel Spike into Nihilego, it's not going to survive this at all. We get plus one defense and a plus one attack boost thanks to our beast boost ability. I believe we get a plus one attack boost. Attack, yeah, we got a plus one attack. They are now speed tied again, airstream into the fairy. As expected, even got the crit that was unnecessary there, I think. I'm pretty sure it was unnecessary. Uh, maybe not. It might not have been. Uh, Clefairy was there as that plus two defense, so the crit might might have mattered. Um, am I faster than Urshifu? Yes. The answer to that question is yes. So I think we go Thunderous. Because we know they have Urshifu in the back. So we go, we bring Thunderous out. And we superpower the Urshifu. Urshifu has to go for Sucker Punch. He is faster. I'm at plus two, though. I do not take that very well, though. I don't take that at all. That's surprising. I was at plus two defense. He was at plus two attack. Plus three attack. Plus three attack? Something like that. We take out Urshifu here. Oh, we almost take out Urshifu. I think Urshifu takes us out back. With close combat? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one too, probably. Um... Bring out the Rodom Heat. Like, I don't think the Kartana can hit us like, su like very hard at all. It may be plus three, but still, they're all resisted. Oh, goodness, that just hit so hard. Yep. Um, thinking back, I probably sh like should have brought my Urshifu um, instead of Clefairy, but Clefairy was very important to getting Kartana off the ground. Oh well, you live and learn. Mirrors are always difficult for sure. Not a great start for the Nut team here. It is a very powerful team, but it's been around for about a week and a half or two weeks now, and it's, everyone's seen it and they kind of know what to expect from it. Running into the mirror uh, is always hard playing against that. You never know what four they're going to bring. You can bring the four that you think is going to be good, but it's just sometimes it's not. Uh, and not getting locked in on game two definitely hurt us. Had we locked in our team like I like I wanted on game two, I think we would have had that for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you go and check out uh, Jeff Hoogland playing this team later on in the day. I believe it starts at 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or Central Standard Time. Uh, Anywho, the links to his stuff will be down below. Uh, they'll be streaming, him and Carter will be streaming uh, Jeff's first experience of VGC on Twitch with uh, a Gold Up team, and then this team, and then I think Carter's got one other team up his sleeve for Jeff to play with. Um, Make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment down below about uh, what's your favorite Ultra Beast? Um, I probably have asked this before, but uh, my favorite Ultra Beast personally is Celestilla. I believe that Celestilla is like, its design is really cool. It's really, really bulky. Um, another one of my favorites is Stack Attacka. 
the many as one is kind of a cool aspect for an Ultra Beast to have, for a Pokemon to have. Um, but yeah, I will see you all on Thursday, and I will hopefully have more experience with the Nut team by then to where I won't make silly mistakes that can happen. Bye, guys.